When many fans think about Superman Legacy, this is the image that comes to mind. Hello? Mr. Gunn? Did you forget about me? Superman? Yeah, this is the exact issue James Gunn is going to tackle, so let's talk about what he said in regards to people's fears. So we of course know that Superman is the star of Superman Legacy. But ever since they announced the casting, a lot of people were literally upset and shocked that it was also announced that Hawk Girl, Green Lantern, Mr. Terrific, and Metamorpho would also be parts of the cast. On top of, of course, Lois Lane, the villain of the film who's rumored to be Brainiac and possibly another villain, and a couple of other characters that have yet to be announced. So a lot of people are worried that this film is already overstuffed and not focusing on the Man of Steel. Well, James Gunn tackled this over online when people kept asking him the same thing over and over about too many characters, especially too many characters that are superpowered that could take away time from Superman. And his reply was, and I quote, I don't understand this fear. There are less characters than in 40 year old Virgin. Do you think Steve Carell got enough time? Question mark. End quote. Honestly, his answer isn't wrong, but it's also not on point because, let's be real, 40-year-old version is a completely different style of film unless he's telling us right here that this film is going to be Superman 30-year-old version, then I guess, sure, why not, right? You guys get what I'm saying, and I've seen this complaint as well. Here's the truth of the matter, though. Just because there is a lot of characters in this film does not take away from it being a Superman film. If you guys want an example, because I'm going to provide one so I'm not being a hypocrite, in my opinion, one of the best MCU films is Captain America The Winter Soldier. Captain America is the star, but the co-stars are Scarlett Johansson as Natasha, Samuel Jackson as Nick Fury, Emily Von Camp as Sharon Carter, then you also have Anthony Mackie as Sam Wilson, Sebastian Stan as Bucky Barnes. Again, many of these are big players in this actual universe. Then you had Haley as Peggy. You had Robert Redford as Alexander Pierce. You had Toby Jones return as Arnim Zola. You literally had George Sapierre in this thing. Now take yourself, put yourself in the same exact critical shoes and take yourself back to when this cast was announced and we knew what it was going to consist of. Those same complaints were tossed at it. People going, this isn't a Captain America movie anymore. It is. And it was. Superman Legacy can be the same thing. Again, we're dropping Superman into a new universe that's just going. It's ongoing and Superman is in it. So I trust what he's doing and I just proved to you exactly what I'm saying can be applied to this film, including tons of others.